In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the importance of uh, rich markup within your store, what that actually means, how you do it, a cheating way to do it, quick and dirty, uh, and the difference that it makes to your search engine optimization results. So, what is JSON LD? What is Open Graph? What is markup on your store? Well, in short, it is special information that is added to your store that describes what something is, what content is. And that could be an address, it could be a telephone number, it could be a product, um, it could be an image, it could be a, a special offer that you're running. But there is extra code in your store that describes what that thing is. And then Google, Facebook, all sorts of other people, search engines, can read that code and they then understand what that object is on your store. So an example of that is where you have a product on your store and Google indexes the product, it, it has no idea what it is. It could, it could be anything. And when I say anything, I don't just mean any product. I mean it could be anything. It could be a page, it could be a blog article, it could be... Um, it could be absolutely anything at all. Google does does not know what it is. So it's up to you to include code on your store that describes that object to Google so it has a better understanding. An example of this, I've come up here and I've Googled Rosa Genera Short, which is uh, one of our products. And you can see here the top two search terms that have come back for Rosa Genera Shorts are, first of all, they're from my store, so we're doing a good job of SEO. But if you scroll down to all of the other uh, results, you'll, you'll notice there's a difference with my results as opposed to anybody else's. First of all, we have the, the star rating. So you can see this product is rated five stars from 59 reviews. Then we have the price, it's £20. And we have whether it's in stock or not. And these other, these other results don't have that. Uh, you know, they have it down here in the text. But it doesn't say the price, whether it's in stock, and there's no review markup. So ask yourself this from a conversion point of view. Which one are you most likely to click on out of these results? So you're probably going to click on the top result anyway because people just click on the top result. But assuming there were some other ones down here marked up that had maybe two star, three star reviews or only five reviews as opposed to 59 reviews, it's human nature to go for the one, you know, assuming the price is the same, it's a human, human nature to go for the one that has the most reviews because it gives you confidence that people are buying from that store. Not just one person, but a lot of people are buying that product from that store and a lot of people are pleased with the product and had a good experience with the store. So it converts better, gives better traffic to you, more traffic to you, better converting traffic to your store. So how do we get this? Well, we've got the stars for two reasons. One is because the product itself is marked up with that data. It's marked up with JSON-LD and Open Graph data. The product itself it knows is in stock because the product is marked up. We know the price of it because the product is marked up. But also we have our reviews marked up on our store. So we are using uh, a particular review app called JudgeMe. JudgeMe integrates with another app that we're using that adds JSON uh, and Open Graph data to your store. And the two things go together. So because the reviews are marked up, and because the product is marked up, it knows that the reviews are reviews and they are relevant to that product. So it can put the two things together and show the reviews for a particular product right here on our store. So this is very important. You know, the, the more information you give, the better you look the higher up Google will rank you. You notice that these things are ranking above all these other things. And the reason for that, or one of the reasons for that, not necessarily the main reason for that, but one of the reasons for that is because it's marked up. Google trusts it. It knows 59 people have, at least 59 people have bought this product, left a five-star review for it. It also knows it's in stock 
that Google is not going to show something that's not in stock. You know, if, if it's not in stock, it's not going to show it. Price-wise, it uses price a little bit. You know, if your price is $100, it will probably show the $20 one first because it thinks it's a better price point. So it uses all these factors as well, subtly, in conjunction with other things, to decide where to rank your products. Just by you doing this will give you competitive advantage over everybody else because all these other people are not doing this. So just by the fact that you are doing this, all things being equal and everything else being the same, you will rank higher. Uh, it certainly improves your rankings. It doesn't harm them. You know, the, the more information you've got, the better it is. So how do we do that? Well, the answer is for me, I cheat. So going over to my Shopify store, there's an app out there called JSONLD for SEO. And what that app does is it adds all of the code into your store in all of the right places automatically. Now this app I believe is, is $60. It is a one-off fee, so it's not a monthly recurring fee. It's a, it's a one-time payment. And if you change your theme, if you update your store or change your products or whatever you do on your store, this app will keep everything nicely in sync for you and keep that data in place. So my advice to you would be to pay the 60 bucks, install this app, and, and that is done. And within within a month, but, but, but possibly within as short a time as two weeks, you'll start to see this, this rich data appearing on your search results. Um, you can do things like reinstall the snippet. You know, there's, there's, there's not much to do within the app. The optional configuration, you know, I, I just don't use because it's it works right out of the box. I've set my review provider to judge me so it is able to know what my reviews are and mark those up as well. But there's all sorts of other providers there that uh, it will work. So if you're using Yopo, which I know is um, quite a well-known one, or Looks is another well-known one, uh, it will find that and mark those reviews up for you. If you have a physical brick and mortar store, which I do, you can select what the store is, what type of store it is, and your price range. And again, in local search results in Google, that will then get marked up with rich data, so it'll know that I'm a clothing store, and it'll know my pricing point. Uh, and that's pretty much it for the app. The, the guy that writes the app is very good. He'll, he'll install this for you, uh, so if you contact him, I'm not sure if it's part of the install process or not, but if you contact him, he'll install it for you, and that's it. It just it just sits there. As Google changes the spec, so they, they come out with new markup, or Facebook introduce a new markup standard, or he'll change that in the back end. So because this is a single piece of code installed in your store, and all of the other code is on his own server, as the specs change, he can just change it at his end, and that is instantly reflected in your store. I'll show you quickly uh, where you can find the results of this. So I'll go into, I call it Webmaster Tools because uh, I'm a little bit old, but it's actually Google Search Console. So I'll go in here and I'll go into Search Appearance and uh, Structured Data. And you'll see here, this is where Google has trawled my site, found this rich snippet data uh, and indexed it. So you can see what it describes here. Some of it's product data, some of it is website data, some of it tells it I'm a clothing store. Breadcrumbs are actually navigation. So uh, if I go over to my store here, I'll show you what a breadcrumb is in case you don't know. So I'll go into lingerie. This is a breadcrumb right here. Home laundry and underwear that's simply, put. this is a breadcrumb. So the markup also refers to breadcrumbs. So Google is learning your store's navigation. It's, it's better learning the structure of your store, how things are linked together. Aggregate rating is your review. Articles are blogs. Organization is who am I? You know, what, what, what is my structure? What is my legal structure? Postal address is where I physically am. So all these things are now marked up. Google has trawled the site, indexed it. Uh, no errors here. And it now knows that information about my site. So it has the ability to display this information. One last caveat is Google may or may not display this information. 
That's a matter for them. Just because your store is marked up properly does not mean that Google will use that data. It means it's likely to, and it's an indicator to Google as to what things are. But it doesn't guarantee that it will. There's other factors in play there. Also, things like Facebook are able to use that data. In fact, anybody or any, anything that control your store is able to read that data and have a better context about what things are on your store. So just by installing uh, that single app, I think I've removed that page now, yeah. Just by installing that single app, JSON LD within Shopify, pen $60, and this is the result. It's a, an SEO improvement and a better description of your products on Shopify.